Hello Leo Virgo friends and welcome to the Immaterial Garden. This is your weekly reading. Thank you so much for the likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. Everything you do to show up for the channel, it is appreciated and I hope you're all well. All right, how this reading is gonna work is we start with the reading itself. I'm not gonna call out a lot of correspondences or a lot of uh, signs, but at the end of the reading, if we have any court cards on the table, I'll do mini dealing with that sign readings for you and we'll wrap it up at the end with the nerd stuff where I'll get deeper into the correspondence correspondences, I'll call out signs. I may have some additional, uh, you know, insights or I may talk a little bit more about the astrology depending on what we have time for and what feels right for the uh, reading itself. But uh, everything else you need to know about the session that is listed down below in the description box. That includes the list of decks we use for the channel as well as uh, who this will resonate with beyond those born on the cusp between Leo and Virgo, okay? All right, my friends, let's go ahead and get into this reading. Oh, I forgot to do that. Okay, great. All right. So I'm just going to shuffle them this way and I'm just going to ask, what are the messages? What are the messages for Leo Virgo friends, especially for the next seven days, possibly beyond? What are the messages for our Leo, Leo Virgo friends, especially for the next seven days, possibly beyond? All right, here we have the gift card energy. It says, be present. So there is no gift like the present moment, and there is no time like the present moment is what I get for you as well. But I feel like there is something being gifted to you. I feel like you are being presented with a golden opportunity. You are being presented with something that you may not have expected, but it's definitely something that brightens your day. It brings you back to life or it helps to get you out of a debt or a uh, troubling situation, a challenging situation, okay? All right. I feel like this is a blessing. It could also be a reward, all right? All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. What are the additional messages? What are the additional messages for our leo virgo friends especially for the next seven days possibly beyond here we have the naked energy it says dare to bear all so maybe you're being the, given the gift the the gift to be yourself you're being the given the gift of freedom whether this is financial freedom emotional freedom energetic freedom there is something where the weight is being lifted where you are no longer at the mercy of your situation or the conditions that you have found yourself in the circumstances that you have found yourself in that have been very troubling or taxing or trying for you okay the i see the you know the sun is rising on the horizon and it's it's the dawn of better days it's also especially if you're suffering or if your sacrifice has something to do with not being able to live in your authenticity or with people making assumptions about you not understanding the truth of you making these assumptions based on stereotypes or based on you know not nothing based in reality you are setting the record straight you are bearing all for some of you you could be you could be doing some sort of um you could be speaking out publicly about something, an experience that you've had, or you could be clearing up some sort of misconception about you or people like you or people that look like you, okay? All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. What are the additional messages for Leo Virgo, especially for the next seven days, possibly beyond? For some of you, I feel like you might be taking... Uh, <laughs> I think you might be taking nude photos. I feel like it's more like art or high fashion photos, but I feel like it's also a way for you to reclaim your to reclaim your body autonomy, to reclaim your own sexuality, to be more authentic to yourself. For some of you, I feel like you might be taking some sort of challenge or some sort of project where you don't wear makeup or you don't you don't edit the photos you don't wear makeup whatever you dare to bear all and i feel like you look freaking amazing <laughs> okay all right let's go ahead and see here tell me more about the messages tell me more about the messages for leo virgo um friends especially for the next seven days possibly beyond here we have a word okay it says happy your well accept your well-earned praise i feel like this project or this fashion shoot or whatever this is i feel like you are going to get hella like uh, recognition or attention for it this could be your big break especially if you're looking to break into the beauty industry the fashion industry but also you're trying to break things up where it's like you are not settling for the old dogma 
uh, the old standards. I mean, I just feel like you are, you turned it up, okay? I just feel like you are changing the rules. That's what I get here. This is freaking exciting, okay? I'm like hyped for you. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. What's the last message for our Leo Virgo friends, especially for the next seven days, possibly beyond? <laughs> All right, here we have so celebrity, okay? Shine like the star that you are. Oh my gosh, there is so many there is so many people are celebrating your name. People are really moved by your project. Now, remember, with great celebrity also comes great haters. So you may need to re readjust a little bit to the recognition, the level of recognition, because I feel like some people are going to be a kind of feeling raw about it. I just, I just get the sense that, you know, celebrity is not always a blessing. But for some of you, if you already have some level of celebrity, I feel like ultimately you are reclaiming your privacy or you're figuring out a way to help people understand that you're a normal person too. You are you are a normal person too. And even though you understand you might be in the public eye, you might be a role model, you are asking people, you know, what would it be like if someone showed up at your work every day and told you how, you know, bad you sucked at it? Was that, uh, who was the comedian? Was that Doug Stanhope that did a bit about that? I, I freaking love that idea. And it's like the idea of like, I mean, how would, how would paparazzi like it if people showed up at their door, you know, just like taking photos of them from, you know, morning till night. It's also though the recognition that we didn't get here, you know, even if you're not a celebrity, even if you're someone who's thinking about celebrity or you're about to gain celebrity, at this point it's almost like we also have to take responsibility that if those pictures weren't worth so much money because we're so dang curious then those uh paparazzi photographers then they wouldn't be you know what would be the motivation no one wants to be a scumbag for 15 dollars you know what i mean but for 15 million dollars and who makes the market for those photos, okay? Those might all be things that you are asking. That might also be some of the themes that you are playing with in terms of whatever your art or your creation is. But I feel like it might be in, it might be in conjunction with something unexpected, like a makeup line, a, you know, like a, a fashion line or something like that. Doesn't have to be. Maybe you're just doing it with style, okay? Big surprise, Leo Virgo. You're causing a ruckus and you're not even you know, you're not even, you look fabulous while you're doing it. Okay. <laughs> All right. What do we have at the bottom of the deck? We have airplane, spread your wings and freaking fly. Oh Lord. I just feel like, yeah, I feel like you're being awarded. What are you getting an award for just for being your dang amazing freaking self? I mean, for putting yourself out there for, I feel like there's just something so intellectual about this that even people that want to like nose down at like at beauty or at the beauty industry or fashion or whatever they want to write them off intellectually it's like you are the perfect bridge i mean i just feel like um <laughs> i don't know you've just succeeded in being able to you just succeeded in being able to elevate something and to elevate the public opinion of it through the example, through your example, and through what you are, what you are producing or accomplishing or communicating through through whatever work that you do, but especially through your through your art or your artistic expression. Okay, all right. Let's go ahead and pull some clarification here. Tell me a little bit more about the celebrity energy. I would love to know about the celebrity energy, please. All right, here we have the Six of Pentacles energy. So with the Six of Pentacles, this is also a gift, all right? So I feel like, again, though, with, with all of the good things, the positive things coming in, remember that sometimes it can throw other aspects of your life out of balance. And also, I just feel like there is this sense of uh, feeling like you belong to yourself. And that might be the biggest struggle within you during this time or during this um, rise in popularity or fame because of the fact that you you want to still belong to yourself, okay? All right, um, but maybe that's the struggle. Also, you struggle with, you know, people prying into your privacy, I think, okay? All right, let's take a look here. Tell me more about the award energy. Oh, tell me more about the award energy, please. All right, so with the award energy, we have the Eight of Pentacles energy. So 
this is in conjunction to your work or in, conjun in conjunction to, it could be work as in your career, your profession, the products that you make, but I feel like it's especially like creative output, whatever, whatever form that takes. But I feel like it, there's somehow there's beauty or fashion that is also um, involved in this, okay? I feel like that's your industry, that's your trade. For some of you, it could be fashion design. I just feel like, or maybe you're working with a fashion designer or you're, you're being being debuted during some sort of fashion expo or fashion week or something but I don't know I just feel like you're bringing this intellectual element into what other people might you know see as a vapid or like a superficial sort of um, industry or sort of uh, situation or environment and I feel like you are breaking a lot of breaking a lot of stereotypes is what I'm getting okay all right tell me more about this uh, gift energy maybe that's what you're getting the award for maybe that's what you're being recognized for you also might be recognized for for your eye for talent and especially for your ability to uh, to also in to, to have a more an eye that's more welcoming towards diversity in the industry or more towards diversity in recognition of talent and I don't know I just I feel like ultimately though you are you're, you might actually be helping to launch other careers right now, okay? Or to hype other people, okay? All right, tell me more about this gift card energy, please. Tell me more about the gift, please. Here we have the Ace of Cups energy. So it does look like this is something new. This is... Uh, I feel like it's you know it lifts your spirits it's like the um it's like the holy grail okay or it's like a cup is being lifted to you and i feel like you're just able you have maybe you have a way with words you have a creative okay first of all your creativity is like the way you express yourself or your your art your work it just it's almost like it has its own signature all right and I feel like it's people are celebrating it. I feel like people are celebrating the fact that you didn't want to just follow the rules or play by the rules or that you're breaking the rules or that you're helping certain some people feel vindicated in what has brought them. You have words that they don't to describe the feelings, the gratitude and the difference that that whatever it is that you love that involves beauty how it really has had such a positive impact on your life and how this is your way of giving back to that community by somehow, I don't know, uh, making it so people kind of have to at least start listening or taking them taking the industry more seriously or taking making changes in the industry more serious okay all right let's go ahead and see here please tell me about the naked card energy please tell me about the naked card here we have the king of cups energy so with the king of cups yeah it feels like you are unashamed all right unashamedly uh, uh <laughs> yourself unabashedly yourself you are moving into a place where uh and also you know this you're tired of keeping secrets you're tired of living under you know the expectations of others I feel like you also feel like you want to still belong to yourself and you might be dealing you know for some reason the the um the concept or the idea or the debate between celebrity and privacy is something that really interests you and I feel like you are more advocating on the side of giving allowing celebrities to have more privacy and also maybe you are getting a little bit annoyed by this idea that people want to almost like say oh look at this terrible media industry but to some degree it's like isn't it just the monster that we created i mean maybe that's the question you're asking and maybe or maybe it's just like i just really get like art so maybe that's what your art or your fashion is supposed to inspire or that's what you're hoping it will inspire that question okay all right uh what's at the bottom of the deck we have the seven of wands energy so mars or sorry we'll, we'll call that out later but with the seven of wands energy it does feel like you are protecting something something that you consider holy in in the sense that it has 
you know, you feel like it's contributed to making you a better person or to helping you, in some cases, even feel closer to God, okay? All right, we're going to just pull out the court card to see uh, the dealing with the sign energy mini read. So if you are specifically dealing with a Scorpio, possibly a Scorpio Libra Cusper or a Libra Scorpio Cusper, let's go ahead and see what is the energy between you and this Scorpio, please, even if it's not related to the main reading. All right, here we have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy with a minor in Sagittarius. We also have the Four of Wands energy, which is Venus and Aries energy. So it looks like this uh, this Scorpio, they wanna they wanna propose, they want to make it official, they want to change their Facebook status. I feel like they they feel like this love is faded. They might they might actually feel like this is a twin flames journey but it doesn't have to be but they definitely want to celebrate coming into union with you for some of you this person is about to propose to you for some of you they're about to ask you to move in with them okay all right uh Let's go ahead and see what's at the bottom of this deck. We have the chariot card energy. So Cancerian energy, and it does feel like, you know, the chariot is the vehicle we ride into ascension. So first of all, just incredible success, incredible success, uh, celebration, celebrity recognition coming in for you. But also in, in the matter of the uh, King of Cups, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, yeah, there is nothing that's going to stop them from, from coming in and giving you this offer, even if there's been challenges or challengers in the past, okay? All right, let me go ahead and just, let me place these back on the table in an orderly fashion, otherwise it'll bug me. And then we're going to get into the nerd stuff in just a second. All right. Great. Oh, yes. Feels good when it feels orderly. All right, so let's go ahead and break this down into the nerd stuff. So we have the Six of Pentacles energy, Moon and Taurus energy. Usually that is about, you know, that's a charity, a generosity, or a gift, but it also means something's out of whack or something's out of balance. Someone has and someone has not, and there needs to be generosity on one side and also humility on the other side, okay? We have the Eight of Pentacles, Sun in Virgo energy, so very likely having to do with your work and with whatever the work that you're doing if it's artistic work if it's you know uh related to your career or your profession we have the ace of cups energy seat of all water energy and really that to me is like healing it's like the holy grail it's like a quest it's like um an opportunity for emotional fulfillment all right uh, and also being in service to something that you just absolutely freaking love okay all right um here we have the uh, seven of pen. Uh, sorry, the seven of wands energy, seven of wands, which is Mars in Leo energy, and that really feels like you are trying to. It feels like you are trying to um, defend something that you really love. All right, uh, it's right on top of the Ace of Cups, like diagonal from it, defend something that you love, something that you can't help but to love with the naked energy. And it's not an affectation. It's like you really absolutely do, you, you live to serve this thing or you really do believe, you are a true believer in whatever this thing is. But for me, it feels like something related to beauty or fashion and you're elevating the perspective of it through your work, okay? Also, we have the chariot card, oh, sorry, we have the king of cups energy, Scorpio energy with a minor resonance in Libra, but to kind of balance this celebrity, I kind of feel like, you know, that Scorpio energy, eighth house energy can be about the secret that we keep, not necessarily, you know, secrets that are kept from us. So for me, it, that's privacy. We also have the chariot card energy, Cancerian energy, but it's also the vehicle that you ride into ascension, okay? All right, that's what I've got for you, friends. Thank you so much. Please join me again. Gratitude to the divine, to you and all of creation.